Hey, it's Lee, fresh out of the shower, and I'm here with another Pickups video. Uh, this is the second non-video game edition of Pickups, and the only reason I'm doing this is basically as filler. Um, I've been away for a little while, and I haven't really been buying anything. Uh, I did order a very large game. Uh, it's a, one of my biggest purchases ever. Um, I don't know how exciting it'll be for people to see, but... Um, I will be featuring that one probably in a week or so, whenever it arrives. Uh, but until then, I figured make a little content. I've been buying a lot of things. I just haven't been buying video games. I uh, kind of got back home and said, like, it's time to get some stuff shipped over. Um, so these are linked to things I've shown in the past, which is why I'm going to show them now. Uh, so the first thing is, you guys know I've been collecting colognes, and uh, I added another one to the list. This is... Uh, Thallium Paris. It says Yves de Sistel. I guess that's who the designer is or something. I don't know anything about this. It was at a reasonable price and I, I'd rather blind buy something than buy something I'm familiar with. Uh, it's just more exciting that way. Uh, yeah, I've been going for old man scents. I don't know if this is one of them. We'll see. Haven't smelled it yet. I uh, also got a CD because I showed you last time that I'm an old man in terms of my, uh, how I consume uh, music. Uh, so yeah, this is also Shiny Toy Guns. This is their second album, which I had talked about last time I showed the, their first album. Uh, one of my more exciting purchases, but least exciting things to show, is this. So these are some batteries, and this is a battery. These cost a total of about $12. This cost about 40 bucks. Um, as you may know, <laughs> depends on if anybody watches my videos, uh, I have a collection of old cameras here, uh, ranging from like the 1960s to the 1980s. They're all SLR cameras, uh, but most need a new battery. Um, a few of them, thankfully, take these, which are very common batteries. This is a special hearing aid battery, which is essentially essentially the battery they make for the camera doesn't exist anymore, so you have to get this replacement uh, that is kind of close. Uh, and it's extremely, extremely expensive, $42, just to make one of my cameras go. Granted, it's one of my better cameras, so I had to make the sacrifice. Um, and then, finally, another thing I've kind of shown before, but I went deeper into, uh, is... Uh, my friend makes prints, and these are going to be hard to show because they're rolled a little bit. But he makes prints. They're essentially pixelated pictures, typically. Um, and they're usually of a, uh, of a, cart or like a, a cartoon house or th things like that. But he makes it extra pixelated or extra cartoony. Uh, this is, um, I believe, Rick and Morty's? I don't watch Rick and Morty's. I know that makes me a... A weirdo, because everybody seems to love it. Um, this one I really don't know what it's from. You guys can tell me. Um, I know I've seen what it's from before, but I, I cannot remember. It. Mystery hack Shack. Ah, really don't know. And finally, I am familiar with this. This is Futurama. So yeah, these are really cool. Um, I like that I have some friends that are artists, and I like that um, I like supporting them. It's not an expensive thing and gives me something to put on my walls if I want it. Uh, I've never framed any of these. I will be uh, at some point. Maybe that's my next project. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of uh, what I had to show, I guess. This, this, and the artwork I just showed. Um, yeah, I just felt bad that I didn't post anything, even though there's only two regular viewers. Uh, I still appreciate that. All right, I am barely awake. I'm going to uh, end this now. Thanks.